everyone this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by my channel today I'm going to show you how I paint a red floral design on this Mexican beach pebble I'm going to be using 2A magic brushes they're flat brushes a number two and a number four my number four deerfoot stippler, stippler excuse me and a dotting stylus dotting stylus you can use anything that you like to use to create dots. I am going to be using lime green. All these are folk art paints. Thicket, combination between multi-surface and enamel. 14 karat gold. Engine red. Moon, whoops, excuse me, moon yellow. Got a little high there. Wicker white and licorice. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the number two brush to create the designs. I will try to get my plate in here. I know everybody likes to watch people load their brushes. I basically just dip one side into each color and then do the blending strokes. Now when you're doing this you can actually tip in a third color if you want. Sometimes I do that uh, just to give it a little bit more interest. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to kind of start towards the center here. And then I'm just doing a wiggly, roughly kind of leaf, or petal, excuse me. And I'm just going to come up and down, up and down. If you don't get good coverage or good enough coverage, you can always go back over it, which I want this to stand out since I did use the black. Sometimes it makes colors pop and sometimes it makes it harder to see. All right, and you can leave a little bit of a center open. I am going to be using the Deerfoot Stippler to go into the center and create the finish the flower off with the stippler. And I'm just slightly doing the back of forth movement with my brush. Then I'm going to come over here and just do another, another uh, flower, but it's not going to be an open, open one like what we're seeing here. And I'm going to tip a little bit of white into this one. Now sometimes I can give it a more of a pinkish look, of course, when you're dealing with red. I'm going to just go back and forth here. And I want to leave a little bit open to the center so I can tap in my black center. And then come over here and do another one. Again, it's just roughly back and forth. If you want to go over this, give it some drying time and go over it again. You can do so if you'd like to have a little bit better coverage. And on these, I'm just trying to leave a little bit of a center open so I can tap it in. And I'm going to come back over here. And do another one. Again, none of these are going to be open, just the one in the center. But when you're creating these, you can go, you know, keep going in one direction, or you can do the center and then come back here and add, add another petal over here, and another petal over here, you know, that type of thing. Just keep moving it around. And I am a lefty, if you haven't picked up on that. Sometimes when I do a painting and I start one direction, if you are right-handed, you might have to just go ahead and, and go the opposite direction from where I start. I hope that makes sense. So like I'm starting this way, I'm starting on the right side, which technically would be the left side of the, of the flower. 
However, you might go, because you're right-handed, need to go on the other side first and then create. Now this one, I don't really want it to have an open center, so I'm just having it come up. It's just more of a little bit smaller, more of a bud. Like that. So you aren't going to see the center. It's closed up more than these are. And on this one, I can go over here and just maybe even close it up a little bit more. And keep it like that. And like I said, if you feel the need to go back over it again, you can. You don't necessarily have to work it or even go over the whole thing. Just wherever you feel like you need to have it show up a little bit better or to be more opaque, if you will. But I think right there, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to take my little stippler brush, putting it all into the black. And I always, when I set it into the paint, then I tap it off. I'm going to come in here with my centers. And even though I'm doing it on a black background, it still shows up. And you might have to make some adjustments. When I paint on my paper, my paper is white that I painted on, so it's obviously going to have a different look to it than what I'm doing here. So I might have to make some adjustments from my original design just so that that helps, helps it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to do the top the heel of this brush, which is the back part of the stippler, into the yellow. And actually, I might want to get some more black off. The black's pretty heavy. Get a little bit of the yellow in there, and then I'm going to come in here and just stick some into the center here. And this just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. You don't have to put a lot, and you just I'm just lightly tapping. And I'm going to go maybe put a little bit more in there. And then turn it. And do a little bit in here. And I am doing what on what. If you want to give it some drying time or hit it with a heat gun, you can certainly do so. It's up to you. What I'm going to do next is take my stippler and I am going to do this and again it, it may not show up real well but I'm tapping black dots you can make the choice of doing a different color and helps you know, maybe there's more of a contrast between it I'm not really concerned too much about the contrast at this point and I am going to come down even though these are petals that are flipped up around it, come down to put the black dots into those as well. I like dots. If you want to leave this part out, you certainly can. Not necessary. For me, I just feel like it gives it just a little bit more dimension, interest. But some of you may not like that. All right, so then I'm going to take my other brush. This is the number four. Again, these are flat brushes. I am going to try to move these here just a smidge so you can see them. And I have a little bit of the lime green. I don't need a whole lot. A little bit of the lime green and the thicket. And I'm just doing my blending. I'm going to add some white in here. I could even add some yellow if I wanted. Yellow is a great addition to the greens. All right, and I apologize. My air conditioning is starting now. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go through here. Add just some very easy
little leaves. You don't have to add a lot. You can then add in your little pieces to tie them, tie your flowers to a stem. On something like this, you don't have to put a stem in. You could just do it to where you are creating the leaves around it and not having a stem at all, which is what I might do on this piece. Just because it's it's small, it's not very big. Like I said, I add I like to add a little bit of different colors in just to get it to stand out. They're not all looking the same. And you can even do make it look different and do that just by switching your brush around. Because depending on which side of the brush you're leading with, that depends on what the prominent color is when you're doing this, if that makes sense. Alright, so then I'm going to even do some little pulls here because I'm going to do some little fillers. You can add in just some basic uh, filler, I want to say uh, like branches or whatnot, or you can add in little flowers if you want or use dots just to fill in some of the spaces. Basically, you know, that's up to you, your call. Definitely your call. And I'm going to add some more leaves, but I think I'm going to do these right now first. I might even go ahead and add a little bit of yellow in it, because I do want these to be a little bit different from the actual leaves that I'm painting. If that makes sense. So I think it's nice when you tie in some different colors, not always the same green, or do a combination of different greens, or however you're loading your brush, can determine that as well. And see what I mean by fillers? And you can pull it towards the towards the stem or away. Just gives them a different look depending on how you're doing it and how much pressure you put on your brush. A lot of times the stroke will vary depending on the pressure that you're placing on it. And if you feel like that's just too, you know, looking too much the same, then you can add Turn your brush around or add some more darkness to it, lightness, just really up to you. And you'll get the fill for it. The more you paint, the more you'll, you'll figure it out, what needs to be done when you're creating. And you can just keep working it until you, you get it there. I think that's the fun part about painting, really. Honestly, I kind of like things that I don't know what they're going to be like until I get done creating. And get this in here. I'm going to add a little bit more color to it. And you know you have to do each petal. You just do, just sporadically go through and do it. It doesn't have to be each petal that you've already created. Even, sorry, hit the screen there. You can even um, do this where maybe you do some thicker ones and then you just come back in and add some thin ones. Completely go over it. Again, it's up to you. Alright, so they don't all look the same and that's fine. I want them to be different. That was intentional. Alright, so then we're going to come back in, just continue adding in a few more, just real easy strokes. Oops, that one a little better. And I could 
do this one. I hope you like this design. If you have any questions, please make sure you place those down below underneath the video or comments even. See, it just gives it some more interest just to have some different color colors in the greens that I'm using. Just pretty, you know, pretty, pretty simple, just very, very easy. I love to paint on rocks. They're so much fun. Great surface. Oh, it stopped. Yay. Sorry about that. Eventually, I'm going to try to do my videos in a different place, but right now, this is what I have. This is my spot. And so you can go over. I think when you go over, you have things like that they're not just straight, meaning that they're all separated and perfect. Because in a real world, if you're creating a floral design, you know, you wouldn't. I mean, things would overlap, right? All right, so here we go. I'm going to take my stylus, and now I'm just going to come in here and just sporadically in different places, whether it's an open spot that has the black, I am just going to create dots wherever I see fit. And it can, you know, overlap some of the stuff that I've already painted or it can just be on the block itself. That again is up to you. If you don't want to put dots, then don't put dots. I mean, they can be a symbol of maybe more flowers or just something to fill in the dark space. Very much up to you. And again, since it's dark and it's, you know, black, sometimes giving a little contrast to it, just gives it a little bit more interest. I like to create simple designs so that anybody can do this. It's very easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, there you go. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. You'll get notified whenever I post something new. And please, before you go, hit that share button underneath the video. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you. Please stick around and view some of my other videos while you're here. And until the next time, please stay, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.